Hi everyone, welcome to this vlog. Um, I am so excited to be vlogging guys. I took the weekend off of vlogging and I actually got a lot of house stuff done. Like you guys can see this night saying I'm gonna show you guys in this vlog a rooftop update because I did start putting that together They forgot to send me a bag of bolts. So I ordered those bolts I think they're coming in today. So I think I'm gonna be able to finish what I have um, I'll show you guys all of that. I'm just so excited in my room I have switched up a little bit and it's really cozy. I also have some new recipes and stuff that I want to try So this vlog is gonna be good. It's just like very cozy um, I've spent all day reading. Oh my gosh guys. Okay, let me show you the book that I read the past two days So freaking good. Also, if you guys are new here subscribe um, I've basically become some sort of like housewife in this vlog honestly because all I do is like work on my house clean cook clean more Work on my house all that stuff. I mean besides like working. You know what I mean first. Sorry guys I'm so all over the place first here are my room updates um This mirror was out there and I actually just love having it right here I ordered another one so I can still have one here me from the future editing this vlog um Checked the tracking on the Ikea package with like so much stuff May 24th like I understand I get it. I'm not mad, but Currently April 20th, so it's okay. Um, for my mirror pictures, I know it's kind of gonna be weird with two, but that's just really great for my Instagram when it comes down to it. So here's the other one. Um, I really love this, it's just really cozy. I moved the dresser over a little bit, and we've been working on making the rug not so messed up, <laughs> so that's good. Um, I normally have my jewelry here, I need to get a little um like trays and stuff and little decor here. I need to figure out what prints I want there. Um, my nightstand, I have my normal candles, my bedding is from Parachute Home, and then, yeah, I need to get lamps and everything, my chair, and then the print came, but it actually was the wrong size for the frame, so I ordered another frame, so there we go, out here, I'll quickly show you guys my balcony, look at that guys, so exciting. So I made an order off Ikea for a new frame and that's where that mirror is from so another mirror and then all the stuff to organize my like makeshift pantry that I have. I mean I have a pantry but there's no storage or anything in it so I ordered all of that so pretty soon I'll also be able to order or organize my pantry. But now I'm going to show you guys the book that I was talking about. Okay. So I read The Last Mrs. Parrish. So this is on Reese Witherspoon's book list and my friend just texted me and was like, you have to read it. So I ordered it that night. Um, that was two nights ago. I read 90 pages the first night and then I read 250 last night and finished it. Guys, it is so good. And when you get to like 150, 180-ish, you're like, wow, this book's really good. And then it just takes a turn and you realize that this is like the best book you've ever read. So if you guys are looking for a good fiction book, 10 out of 10, 12 out of 10 recommend this book. I was just on the phone with my mom telling her she needs to read it because I'm just obsessed. So anyways, now we're going to head downstairs and um, make some food. I also, I have some new things that I want to make. So I'm very excited. I'm officially out of paper towels. It's literally like the worst thing to ever happen to me. Really need to get some of those. I don't have a mask currently, so I can't really leave my house. Well, I can leave my house. I just can't go to the grocery store and stuff. Um, I have one on the way, but it's not here. Anyways, um, I just wanted to show you guys. I am obsessed with these Chobani Greek yogurt, the coconut blended. So good. I will just throw in either mango or like blueberry and then some honey and this is what I'll have for breakfast. It's amazing. So this is basically just my go-to breakfast. I'm having a super late breakfast. I'm actually making lunch, but I just wanted to make a little appetizer. Um, anyways, it's so good. All right, guys, I just made what looks like the best lunch ever. I saw this on Margot's Instagram story last week and I screenshot it, but chickpeas, which I love chickpeas, which is what drew me to this recipe. Cut up grapefruit, avocado, olive oil, and then just salt and pepper. But super healthy and it looks so good. Anyways, this looks so good. There's also juice from a lemon on. I don't think I said that before, but it literally looks amazing. All right, guys, I'm watching my family dog right now if you hear him in the background. But um, I have been making cold brew or like iced coffee at home, basically. And a lot of you have been asking. First off, this coconut almond milk blend is absolutely incredible but what i'll do is i'll just buy a cold brew i know i really like chameleon cold brew i haven't had this exact one 
but I just know that I like chameleon, so I got this. Um, I got like a small one before, whatever. And then I just pour this and then I pour this in. Um, so that's literally all I do. This is what I've been having for my iced coffee at home. It's incredible. I know this is so self-explanatory, but I really like it when people are like, this is exactly what I do, especially with coffee. Um, and I've just been getting so many questions about it on Instagram. This is my first time using this cold beer, so I'm not like vouching for this, but this stuff, this is amazing. And then, I'll just add some of this amazing milk. And that's pretty much it. It's so good though. All right guys, I'm currently doing an at-home facial, drinking my cold brew. It takes me so much longer to drink cold brew because this is like really something. But anyways, I'm actually filming some Instagram stories for a brand with this facial. So I leave it on for 30 minutes. It just makes your skin like literally glow. You look so good at the end of it. So. I'm really excited in case you guys cared. If you guys want to do like an at-home facial Instagram stories, um, I have a really good deal. But yeah, this is really great. Um, I'm just going to sit here, drink my cold brew, and maybe read a book. You know when you finish a really good book, depressed, and then you're like so sad because you don't know what else to read because nothing will ever top that book. That's how I feel about The Last Mrs. Parrish. Okay, so I'm looking at new books to read. I think I'm going to go with The Last Time I Saw You. This is the same author as Last Time, Last Mrs. Parrish. Um, it's Liv Constantine. Anyways, this looks really good. So I'm actually, I think, going to pick this book up. I'm really excited. This is what my skin looks like right now. A little bit crazy, if I do say so myself. I have, I think, 15 minutes left of this facial. But I'm really excited. I just got a few very exciting packages. The first one is from Outro Voices. So I got these cute little shorter biker shorts that I thought were adorable. And then this white t-shirt that's amazing quality. I also got a new set. I'm so excited. They were kind enough to send this to me. These are my favorite sweatpants in this green color. I actually have an Aritzia crew in this color. Um, super fun for spring. And then... Just the cropped hoodie, which it's not cropped, but it's like not super long. It's pretty thin too, which I feel like is going to be perfect for spring. So I'm really excited for these. And then I also got this cute, I haven't even read the note yet, which I'm so excited for. But this is the Instagram. Seriously, so freaking kind of them. But she tie-dyed me a crew neck, which I don't have any tie-dye. And I feel like I... Didn't really fit in with everyone until, like, I got this, honestly. So, I'm probably going to throw this on because I just think it's super cute. Thank you so much. I apologize that this is so backlit, guys, but this is the only way I can set you guys up. I'm drinking my coffee. Um, on top of finishing my rooftop, hopefully today, I just got coffee on my sweatpants. You've got to be joking. Um, I will be video planning. So, is it 4 p.m.? Yes, and I'm drinking this cold brew, which is going to make me stay awake so late. But I did get a new book, so I think it'll be okay. My Dyson Airwrap has come in. I'm so excited for it. These are very pricey, and I really couldn't get myself to spend the full um, thing. Because, oh my gosh. I couldn't get myself to spend full price on this just because I already have the hair dryer. And I just really, really wanted this. And then I told myself... If it ever goes on sale, then if it ever goes on sale, then I would buy it. And I finally got it, guys. I'm so excited. So it did go on sale. I got it on a Nordstrom Rack refurbished. I'll have it linked down below. I'll have the main one linked, and then I'm also gonna have um, the. I wonder which size. I was just watching Desi Perkins tutorial on this. I also am gonna have and see if it's still refurbished. What? What are even the differences between this, guys? Great. <laughs> guys, I'm literally so excited. So I'm gonna go shower right now so that I can do my hair because that is how excited about this I am. So this is originally $600. I know that's really expensive, but Dyson quality is like next level and this will last for forever. Also keep in mind, it's like so many tools in one. Even the hair dryer I have that's like $400, but it's really incredible and it's better for your hair. So I got this on sale for $400. Um, obviously, I know that's, like, crazy for a hair tool. I honestly was never planning on paying it, and then I just thought about it every day for the longest time, and finally, I decided that I was going to splurge because I'm not spending money in other ways. So, yeah, obviously, I know it's really expensive, um, but I just really, really am so excited for it. I am really thriving right now. I just took a shower. I feel so good. 
I've been listening to Maddie and Tay's new album. I'm going to do my hair. Um, I'm so excited. We're gonna sit here and figure this thing out. And then hopefully by that time, um, my new bolts will be here so I can fix the couch upstairs, which I'm so excited for. I don't even really want to film this because I feel like I'm going to get attacked because I know that I'm not going to be using this right. I saw Desi first use this, so that's what I'll be doing. All right guys, so I did my hair. I definitely could have done a better job. I really like how it turned out. I definitely have like product build up a little bit, so I need to do, fix that. But um, I just did it. I wanted like loose waves. I honestly wanted it like this. Um, but I think for my first try with the Dyson, I did a pretty good job. Obviously, I'm just gonna get better. I'm gonna watch a ton of tutorials and stuff as well. I really, really love it um, so far. So I'm really excited. So I'm really excited. Um, it just feels good and I'm a fan like this is literally the highlight I think of my quarantine I've gotten so bored but like I'm so into clothes and fashion and outfit like everything again um, I think probably because I've just been in quarantine I imagine a lot of us feel that way so I just am like getting so much inspiration and things and like makeup looks I want to try to do like I almost want to get like a pink backdrop for my garage and turn that into a studio and get good at makeup like that's kind of what my vibe has been but we will see anyways i'm just putting this away for now i think hopefully my stuff is here from amazon i guess we'll see um but yeah i really like it so far i'll have it linked below but wow i'm gonna put my laundry away and then i think amazon says it's only four stops away and the uh delivery guy is pretty close so hopefully they'll be here soon. I just pulled my hair back because I was already getting annoyed at the being down. So this is just really ridiculous. But I finally got my bolts in. I just did all my laundry. I'm gonna go upstairs, hopefully finish the couch. I can't believe I showered before going to work on the rooftop, but it shouldn't be like too crazy, hopefully. Also, I haven't even shown you guys the rooftop, so I'm really excited. I have, literally have my indoor slippers and my outdoor slippers, and I switch into my outdoor slippers every time I go upstairs because you just can't mix the two. But anyways, I'm heading upstairs, gonna get some work done, feeling great. You guys are gonna love the rooftop. Fair warning, it's not done. Oh, also. Okay, so these are the bolts, blah, 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 boring. These sunglasses are from Amazon. I haven't even tried them on. Um, well, clearly my hair looks great right now, but oh my gosh, I love them. These are like the Celine dupes, but they're $12. Like. These are incredible. I got these because it gets really bright on the rooftop because it's all white right now. And so I really need sunglasses and I think I'm actually gonna start laying out and maybe even getting a natural tan. It's never been done before in my life, ever. So we'll see if that works, but I'm gonna take these upstairs and see what we can do. All right guys, we're on the rooftop. I just built that half of the couch. The couch is done. It's kind of hot outside actually. Um, this is all from Overstock, so Anyways, I had this little lounge section. Again, this is not done. It's still like pretty dirty. My mom and I are gonna clean somehow, or I am, and she's gonna tell me what to do. I have one lounge chair. I have another one coming and another big rug. Update, I'm not gonna do turf just cause I think it'll be too difficult, but I'm just gonna get a bunch of rugs. So I have another one of these coming and I'm probably gonna order another. I have these white outdoor bean bags that are here and then I'm gonna get another one. I might do turf here though and just make it a small dog park. Oh my gosh, I'm out of breath. Um, and then over here, I need to get a vent cover because it's really ugly and it's killing the vibe, but I'll probably do plants and stuff too. So imagine like two of these lounge chairs right here and then all of this, it's gonna be so nice. But these are the updates that I have for you. Okay, I just had some dinner. I think I'm gonna make myself a glass of wine because I am gonna face from some friends tonight. I also have to record for the podcast and edit a lot of videos. I'm such a baby with wine. Like this is literally all I drink. It's just cheap from Trader Joe's. Comment down below your favorite wine so I have more recommendations. I really like doing this. This is definitely a new thing with quarantine. I mean, I don't have that much wine, so like I don't really do it that often because I'm just saving it. But if I'm really feeling it, I feel really mature. <laughs> okay, I am so over recording myself as I, <laughs> or vlogging myself as I record podcast intros and ads and stuff. But 
that is what I just did. I need to import stuff and send it over to my producer. One second. Gotta go get the tool for that. I have the song Golf on TV by Lennon Stella. Actually, it's like Lennon's on it, I think. I don't know. I think it's like JP something. Anyways, best song ever. But I'm going to import this footage. I already have Danielle and Brooks. This week's episode is with Danielle and Brooke of Gals on the Go. So I'm really excited. Um, to my best friends. I don't even know what YouTube of Danielle and Brooke on YouTube So I need to import all this stuff send over descriptions work on some Instagram stuff to have that ready I'm doing this really really early Which is good. I'm doing this really early. I normally do this over on like Tuesdays, but today's Monday And I didn't do a lot of work today. So I figured I might as well do this, you know, all right guys I wanted to share what I posted on Instagram with you guys um in this video and give you guys a little bit of a quarantine life update um i posted an instagram with a long caption today which for some reason those always make me so insecure like there are some instagram people who only post long captions and i'm like so not that person i will do like black hearts i don't know why posting a long caption just makes me very insecure but I think it's because I'm normally like a little more vulnerable in that. So maybe that's what it is. I shared this in the podcast that went live um, with like the intro of Gals on the Go briefly. But I also wanted to share this on this video because I know not all of you guys listen to the podcast. Not all of them watch the videos. Um, but I got like a lot of people responding and saying that they related. So I wanted to just talk about this in the video. Um, I kind of already kind of talked about this when I was saying, you know, there's this weird pressure of... Feeling like you have to, you know, start the next Uber or work really hard or whatever that might be because you have so much time to do whatever um, in the quarantine. And while that's literally amazing, I think for some people it's also awesome because I'm someone who already, like, wants to work 24-7. So this has really allowed me and given me space for the first time in honestly probably years. Like, I was talking to my best friend Maddie and I was like, I haven't slowed down and sat with myself really i mean obviously like when are you gonna have weeks to do that but for an extended period of time besides like maybe an hour you know besides like obviously maybe an hour but i was like i have not sat by myself and just been with my thoughts and been with myself since probably you know i moved to la and she's like honestly it was on probably your sophomore year of high school this is my best friend since like sixth grade she's like i really think it was you know your freshman or sophomore year of high school and i'm a senior in college so and with that being said, like, there's been so much that's happened to my life, good and bad, since then. And I think, you know, I've talked about how quarantine has kind of given us a space to, like, sit and heal. I sound like such a hippie almost, but, like, whatever. Um, I'm going to read this caption because I really blab on if I don't have something to read. Also, if you guys are coming from this video, go comment on this photo and tell me you guys are coming. It's just at Kenzie Elizabeth on Instagram. I would love if you guys commented and we could like relate and chat or anything like that. Also, I would just love to like stalk you guys on Instagram. Okay. I've been so on the go for honestly the past few years that I haven't had long periods of time to just sit with myself alone. This is also probably the last thing I would choose to do because I thrive while working and being busy. While being stuck in our houses wasn't what anyone saw for 2020, I'm grateful for the time it's allowed for healing. When will I ever have this much time to just sit in my house, pray for hours, read for hours, and hang out by myself in parentheses without having FOMO? Probably never. We are 100% the lucky ones to keep ourselves in country or 100% the lucky ones with our job being to stay at home in order to keep ourselves in country safe. I am better because of this time. My priorities have shifted so much. I'm so at peace. I am more confident than ever in who I am and where I'm going. And it took doing nothing to feel so good. So funny how so often we think we have to do, do, do. I realize I have a typo, so I'm going to fix that in order to get there. Um in quotes use this time to your benefit that doesn't have to mean coming up with the next business idea or passion project it hasn't in my life for me it's been sitting with god and being honest with where i'm at and i'm so much better because of it love you guys so just wanted to share that um i think a lot more of us are taught like i know so many of us just like put off our problems and put off like dealing with certain things and whatever um and we just like don't deal with anything like at all like for instance like my stepbrother passed away like a year and a half ago and obviously that's like horrible and like very traumatic and it's been like awful to like watch my family walk through that and you know just dealing with that in general but um i you know like 
I don't know, I like hate, literally hate talking about this so much, but honestly, like, even from just sitting here and like spending time with God and talking to God about it and just like chilling out, like before if I would mention that, I would immediately tear up and now I'm like, you know what, like, uh, not that it will ever not hurt, but I think I'm just feeling better in general. Um, I don't feel like I'm this like bubble that's about to burst at any given time because I finally have like sat down because I went home, I was there for the holidays, for the funeral, obviously all that, and then I went back to LA and it was just kind of like business as usual and like I had to go back into my routine immediately. So I feel like um, I wasn't really given, I didn't really give myself time to grieve as much as I should have. Um, obviously I did, like, I don't think anyone's perfect at, like, healing and dealing from this stuff anyways, so that's why it's just kind of, like, a learning progress, but, um, a learning progress. Process of learning, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just definitely feel so much better, and I feel, I think, more myself than I have in a long time, and I just needed to sit by myself for however long that might be. I think, too, the other thing was... I was like, oh my gosh, so much has happened in my life outside of this. Like, I am so afraid that, like, once I start this, like, healing process or whatever that I know I need to go through, it's going to take so long. And, like, healing is a process and sometimes it does take long. But I think for me, a lot of it was kind of, like, the last of it. And I needed to get the last of it out and just kind of, like, surrender that and give it up. Um, I'm just feeling, like, literally so much better. Obviously, with that being said, like, earlier today, I was, like, on the phone with my mom on the verge of tears. So, like, it's really a roller coaster, but I would say, like, 90% of the time, I am feeling so much better. So, yeah. That is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, let me know by giving it a thumbs up, comment if you made it to the end, wine glass. But I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.